agricultural news from agview.net. The EPA has announced five-year registrations for two dicamba products and the extension of a third. EPA Administrator Andrew Wheeler says the registrations include new control measures to ensure the products can be used effectively while protecting the environment, including non-target plants and other crops that aren't tolerant to dicamba. Bayer's Extendamax and BASF's Ingenia received the five-year registration. Syngenta's Tavium, that registration was extended as well. Now, Corteva's Fexapan not included. A federal court back in June tossed out the registration for Extendamax, Ingenia, and Fexapan, but did not include Tavium. Now, the registrations feature new control measures, including requirement of a voluntary reduction agent and specific downwind buffers. The federal regulations prohibit over-the-top applications for dicamba on soybeans after June 30th and cotton after July 30th. Farm groups calling the EPA to re-register those products as well through 2021. USDA paid more than $7 billion of assistance to farmers as part of CFAP2. That program provides farmers with financial aid to help absorb some of the increased marketing costs associated with COVID-19. Well, since CFAP2 enrollment began in September, the Farm Service Agency has approved more than 443,000 applications. The top five states for payments, Iowa, Nebraska, Minnesota, Illinois, and Kansas. Now, farmers and ranchers who participated in the original program not automatically enrolled need to complete a new application form for this second round, and FSA will accept applications through December 11th. And pumpkins are the most famous symbol of fall. USDA is highlighting the top 10 pumpkin production states this week. Now, uh, all states are producing some pumpkins, but about 62% of the pumpkin acres were cultivated by only 10 states. By acreage and weight, Illinois consistently the nation's largest pumpkin producer. More on these and other stories at agview.net. Stay with us. More coming up.